story begins on an island where a man named Kinmuro is fighting against multiple puppet walkers and the rest of the soldiers are fighting against the puppet walkers. Get behind the harpoon gun! The man, uh, another man begins to shoot the harpoon gun while they're fighting as they are actually being evaded by the puppet walkers. They immediately get behind the man. The man begins to open fire on all the puppet walkers, taking all of them down. Eventually, the oil will be safe behind this harpoon gun. Suddenly, a land of sky ninja then comes in. Take this. Lightning style, fog cloud. He then makes a fog cloud that immediately shocks Kinmaru and his lieutenant back. Throw in the back. They then begin to kill everyone. Why are you doing this? I bought this island from the land of lightning, fair and square. You can't just take it. Yes, I know, but it's mine now. I'm taking the island away from you, and I'm going to take your civilians and use them for test subjects. Yeah, I'm going to make you a, a victim too, and you're going to be, I'm going to test subject on you and stuff. He says, you can't do that. He tries to punch the lane of Sky Ninja. The lane of Sky Ninja immediately punches him in the gut and then he falls over. So, well, meanwhile, in the background, the Puppet Walker is absolutely molly and killing the rest of the civilians. And event eventually, he holds the man up. He then takes out a pill. You will make for a great test subject. He says, says what do you say to that? I'm going to kill your people. And I might even kill you in the process if this doesn't work. And Kinmaru responds by spitting in the land of Sky Ninja's face. You're eager to die, huh? He then puts the pill inside of his mouth and throws the man back. Suddenly, his eyes begin to change and he transforms into some kind of beast. He then takes out all of the puppet walkers and the man, it works. Good. He then takes his button, presses it, and the man transforms back to normal. The formula was a success, sir. A good number of the civilians managed to escape our captivity. Find them. Kill them. No, no, no. Find them and take them alive and bring them back here. If we if we get this right, we'll manufacture an army of monsters that we'll use to def completely destroy the Hidden Leaf Village. They then take the man to a cell while multiple puppet walkers and scatter out to find, to find all the civilians. Meanwhile, at the Hidden Sand Village, village Drew, Drew, Julie is training while Dev and Kev are playing the video game. Their mom then comes and tells them that the Kaze Kage wishes to see them. Can it wait? Mom, I'm trying to finish this video game. No, it can't. Now get up and grab your brother and go. You chose to be an intro, so do your job. He says, don't, 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 don't slack on responsibility. He, she says, Alright, fine. He didn't wake up his he didn't wake he didn't wake up his little brother. Brother, huh? What's going on? Brother. Well now what? Wake up. Up uh, the the Kazakagi wants you to see us. Oh, okay. They then immediately go outside to get Jubilee, but Jubilee's already gone. Don't tell him if she took a head. Sorry. Come on, dude. We have to go or we'll be late. We have to go or we'll be late. They immediately jump away, and then they immediately gonna run across Hidden Sand Village, and they get to Gara's office. You took a head start, didn't you? Uh, the Kev says. Nah, Jubilee says that she sticks out her tongue. Gara then explains the mission. He explains that a long time ago, during one of the many great ninja wars, wars that they, there was an island that was take that there was an island that the Land of Lightning used for a base of operations. After the war was over, they did not use the island anymore. More. They, they didn't use the island for over 20 years, and eventually a man bought it. After buying, bought it. They didn't, do, they, they didn't have any need for the island. That it was important. They sold it to the man for a little more than a dollar. Dollars, since they, did, since they didn't want the island, had no use for it. They began to expand their territory that there was eventually no need for the island. And they had multiple bases of operations at that point. So the man bought the island. However, ever since that, the, the land has gone selling these past couple of days. So the land line has asked us to figure out what's going on. This is a covert recon mission. Observe. And reports, if you see any suspicious activity, or you see anything that can be classified as an enemy, you will not engage them. Repeat, 
not engage. You are to go on this mission. If you see anything suspicious, you will come back and let me know. And I'll send a squad of children to get the island back from the intruders. But, but you're not to do anything first now. Understood? Yes, sir. All right. Your mission has begun to you. So basically, we're taking out the land of lightning's trash. No, it's not like that. We are allied with the land of lightning now. So it's natural for us to help our allies. Whatever. Kev says, it sounds like we're taking out their trash to me. We're allied nations now, Dev says. It makes sense for us to help each other, Kev. Whatever, it sounds like your land lightning is being too lazy to do this out themse to themselves. You don't want to talk, Kev, Jubilee says. Alright, do you know of talking? Go! Oh, they're gonna immediately leave, and they name me begin to jump through the trees. Alright. Alright. Alright, if we see anything suspicious, we immediately go back to Garner and tell him that he'll send us got a more elite and stronger ninja to take the island. Is everybody clear on that? Kev says. Quit barking out orders like a leader, Jubilee says. I might as well I might as well be. You may be the oldest, but you're certainly the dumbest, Kev says. Yeah, whatever. Come on, let's just go. They begin to go, and eventually they arrive at the island. They begin to walk in, but they, but they begin to walk through the trees. Uh, guys, I hear something. Go in the bushes quick. What do you hear? Just go. They immediately get inside of the bushes, where a bunch of puppet walkers are attacking some civilians. And both and both the civilians with swords and the military, and both the puppet walkers begin to run at each other. Wow, 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 I guess no mystery required now. Come on, we have to go back to the Hank Sand Village and we'll put all this to Kara. We can't just leave these innocent people to die, Jubilee says. They're more safe without us, he says. He says, yeah, Kev's right. Let's go. Besides, Kara says specifically not to engage the enemy. If we do this, we'll be doing the opposite of what he said. I know, but I can't just leave them. L leave them, Jubilee Jubilee says, will we'll be a better help. Even if some die, we'll, we'll, we'll come back with strong little ninja and I'll be able to take the whole island. She says, I know, but I just, I just can't. Jubilee immediately jumps out of the bushes. What are you doing, you idiot? Say, say, say here, remember covert? But Julie refuses to see the innocent people being slaughtered by the puppet walkers. So she throws a paper bomb that hits the puppet walker, and the paper bomb explodes, taking the puppet walker with it. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Help, Julie says. She then begins to take out all the puppet, most of the puppet walkers. Walkers. Should we help? She's given us no choice. That idiot, I swear. If she wasn't my sister, I'll flutter to ban her. Come on, Dill, we can't just leave her. Right. They didn't begin to help, and they take out most of the puppet walkers. There's too many of them. We have to be. We have to retreat. The puppet walkers, they begin to retreat. Tree. Huh. We sure got them running, didn't we? Jubilee says. Okay, so what's the story? Jubilee says. Uh, this island was. This island has been invaded by an unknown man, an unknown ninja. He's invaded our entire island. All right, we'll help immediately. Excuse me? Kev says he grabs his sister by the chest. We're helping? We can't help these people, Kev says. What do you mean we have to help them? They're in trouble. They need our help. Maybe, but you heard Gara. This is a covert recon mission. It's already bad enough thanks to your fault that the enemy already knows are here. We're better off going back, sitting more powerful and stronger joining, and they'll save the people. People, no, I'm the leader of this team. Who dubbed you the leader? Leader, Kev says, I dubbed myself the leader. I'm the oldest and I'm the strongest. I'm, I'm the team of this team. Oh, you're the strongest, huh? Is that a fact? Kev says. But Dev immediately gets in front of him. Guys, 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 we can't fight. On the other hand, Kev is right. We should have just went back. But if we do go back, the enemy already knows we're here. So they're likely to change locations. I say that we save as many people as possible. Kev says, oh, so now this guy's our leader now. Kev says, Kev, Kev, Kev says, the youngest is our leader now, Kev says, he does have a point, alright then, we're following him, Kim, whatever, Kev says, alright, so it's settled, let's go, alright, they immediately gonna hop in the bushes, and they spot, and they spot the, and, and they spot where they're holding all the hostages, alright guys, stay here, we'll, 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 we'll go get the leader back, why, why can't we help you? 
No offense, but you guys are kind of a burden. Drivoli says, what do you mean we're burdens? Shut up, Kenny, Kenny told. She's right. We're just burdens. If it wasn't for Zim, we probably would have died in that last attack. You gotta be kidding me. This kid that may be kids, but don't let them fool you. They have headbands and are hidden sand ninja. Hidden sand ninja are more powerful than a hidden leaf. A more elite. He says, all right, fine. Fine. Don't worry. You'll be our backup. Dev says, Does anything bad happen? Jerk contingency plan. All right, guys, let's go. Go. All right, I'll take out these guys. So she immediately takes out all four of the purple walkers with her chakra made shuriken. And she has the ability to mold chakra into weapons. Okay, let's go. And they begin to run through the building and they get inside via the vent. They begin crawling through the vents. Man, this place is crawling with those puppets. Puppets? What kind of puppets are those anyway? Kev says, You mean the time? You, are they the type that Ricky uses? They look that way, but I don't see any truck with puppet strings. It is possible for a puppet user to make these threads temporarily invisible by suppressing the trunk they used to make them. Yeah, whatever, but I doubt they're doing that. This is this this definitely isn't the same as Ricky's jutsu. This is a different and unique jutsu. Dev thinks to himself, whatever, let's just get the leader out of here. Why are we getting the leader anyway, Dev? The leader has detailed and crucial information. He's not gonna have information. But you can say the same thing about any of those other siblings. Yeah, but he's likely to have it. He might have some. He might have a clue about where the next hideout will be, or more information on the enemy we're dealing with here. Right. The Purple Walker did begins guarding the cell, but it, but it's taken out by Jubilee. She Dev and Kev then immediately comes to support Jubilee. Jubilee presses the button, and a man gets free. We have to save our people. Forget that. We're getting you out of here. Then we'll come back to see your people. No. I'm not leaving the fuck my people. I should have known this could would have happened, Julie says, but suddenly the door gets kicked down and Lamb Scott and is looking at all three of the kids. You kids should not have come here. He then pulls out a device. Oh no. Everybody run. I can't control, but he presses the button. He begins to transform into the beast. He begins going on a rampage. He begins to fight all of the people. Dev, diffract them. We'll get the civilians out of here. Right, take this. Next shot, chakra blast. He begins to chakra blast the man while they get all of the civilians out of there. The puppet walkers begin to follow them. So they take out each and every single one of the puppet walkers. And after taking them down, they, uh, and you may have to take out all of those puppet walkers. Impressive, the land is getting everything to himself. She then goes after him, but he takes her down. Down it, one new. Lightning style, lightning. Torn, he then uh, shocks the floor electrically, with taking her down. Kev then tried to take him over his eyelids, but he uses his lightning saw to punch Dev, Kev, in the, in the stomach, taking him down. Down. Julie gets back up, so he grabs Kev and throws Kev at Julie, taking them both down. You idiots don't see the chance. We have to let free Dev, right? While he's blasting the creature, he sobs. He, the creature is trying his hardest, running practically to try to get to Dev. So Dev stops blasting him, and as a result, the creature ends up stomping on his feet, and it ends up tackling the land of Sky Ninja. Ninja. Now, Dev then immediately uses his chakra blast to cut a hole in the building, and they immediately get out of there. They jump out. Get off of me. No, no choice. It can't be helped. He presses a button, and the creature begins to transform back to normal. Find them. Kill them, the man says. They begin to leave the building. The building. He didn't tell the people to go. What are you doing? Why are you just standing here? Find those guys. Kill them. The little guy then just says. The people are going to chase all this villainy. So Dev immediately gives the one to be distracting them. You guys go. I'll take care of this. They begin to leave. Take this. Super Mega Chakra Blast. He then takes out all of the puppet walkers. Taking all of them down. Down. Turning most of them into a pile of ass. Dev then gets out of there and the planet. And then comes. No, they got away. And the worst part, they turn all the puppet walkers into garbage. I'll kill you, the land of sky ninja thinks to himself. So, this is all your fault, Kev says, pointing at Julie. My fault? How is it my fault? You're the one who decided to engage the enemy. Because of you, we lost the leader and more people were killed. If we had simply not attacked them, we could have avoided this mess altogether. Back off, bro, Dev says. No, he's right, Julie says. She puts her head down. This is all my fault. 
So, who am I kidding? The reason this mission fell is because I wanted to lead so bad, but it turns out I can't do that. Who am I kidding? Dev, you lead us. You're the only one who can. Whoa, 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 whoa. I could run circles around Dev. No, he's the leader. Come on, Kev. You know he's the one. But he's the youngest, maybe. But he, but he's probably the smartest out of all of us. Fine, Kev says. But only this once. All right. Really? Wow. I never, I never thought I'd be, I would get in a position this powerful. Okay. Our first part is getting that leader out of there. Nothing else matters. You understand? He has the most detailed information. He's got this. Dev thinks to himself. All right. Got it. Ningo back with the land of Sky Ninja. Ninja, sir. So we send search parties after the intruders. There's no need. They'll come to us without a doubt. And when they do, we'll kill every single one of them. I want blood. I don't want any survivors. The land of Sky Ninja thinks to himself. Suddenly, Jubilee, along with the rest of the of the people, they begin to run at them. There they are. Hey, you, take this. They begin to run at each other. Take them all down. They begin They begin to fight all, all of them. Meanwhile, back inside the building, Kevin Dale, while Jubilee's providing a distraction, Kevin, it was just as I thought. Jubilee's distracting most of the the military power. I suspect that we that, that we shouldn't that we should be able to get into the building without facing opposition. Okay, Dev thinks to himself, whatever bro, let's just do this. They immediately go and they immediately find the man, they press the button and let a man out. Alright, come on, we're getting you out of here. Right, the man says they begin begin to run, but we have to save my people first. This guy and his antics, Kev thinks to himself, come on, they begin to run. You know, back with Jubilee, she's taking out most of the puppet walkers. At this rate, we'll win in no time. Suddenly, the land of Sky Ninja comes, you're going to pay for interfering. She tries to take him down, but he grabs her sound and throws her down. Huh, you're going to pay for interfering, you little brat. Now, your friends are going to be next. Next, he takes her down. He then goes. We can go about Kev delving the man. The land of Sky Ninja comes to where they are going to be. I'm gonna kill you all, the man. No, you're not. You're gonna pay for this. You killed my people. You took my island. I'm going to kill you. He can push the man back, grabs the button that's used to control his transformation, and crush it. He then begins to transform into a creature, into the creature that before, and one shots the man. The uh, uh oh, Dev, get ready. Don't worry, I'm on, I'm on your side. The man says. Wait a sec, you can control it? No, I can't. But I can control for a little while. Get my people out of here and I'll distract them. But you can't. But you can't. Kev says, you'll die. Exactly. I'm going to die to, to, to protect something precious to me. The man says, now go. Right. Are we really going to let this happen? We have no choice. Come on. He then, he then jumps out of the building, and meanwhile, Julie's about to kill a bunch of walkers, but the man meeting her eyes and takes them all down. He then jumps away. It's not on our side. Kevin Devs and immediately comes to Julie's side. Everybody, fall back. What's going on? We have to leave. What about that man? Is he in control or something? For the most part, what we have to leave for the to control. They did immediately. We're about to get out of here. I can only control this thing for so long. But, sir, get out. It's been an honor with you, but you have to leave. Thanks, thank you for everything. He says he begins to cry. The man begins to cry. They begin, they begin to leave the island. They're gone. Now I can cut loose. He did gonna take out the majority of the puppet walkers. But meanwhile, back with the man, he breaks out of the building. You're not gonna get away that easily. Take this water side. He makes a giant wave through the water that covers um, most of the island and, and, and it drowns the creature and he transforms back to normal. He transforms back to normal. All right, everybody. All right, we got him. Got him. Now we kill him. Me and go back with Julia. They immediately run. They escape the island. A little while later, back at Hidden Sanders. So you disobeyed a direct order. You did. You uh, you, you engaged in a meeting that specifically told you not to, and 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 most and, and a lot of people died. Guard says, "Yes, sir." They all see what it is now. I'm proud of you. What do you mean? The mission is a somewhat success. You three single-handedly took an island together, and not only that, but you not only that, but you also gave these people a new home. Thanks to you, you saved a lot of lives. Yes, you may have my instructions. Instructions: those who break the rules are scum. They're scum. But those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. Garner says, "An old friend told me that." So, well, who was that man? 
What was his name? According to the villager, a long time ago, during one of the many great social wars, wars as all wars do, they tend to bring innocent civilians into a, into into the war. A, a town that wasn't even in the far great nations was destroyed because of the war. So the man named Kim Mardo decided it was his responsibility. He used to be a hidden leaf droning. However, he retired from that and he decided he felt so bad that he bought an island for the people. He and raised some good Raikage. He bought the island as a result. All the pe he been taking care of the people for twenty years. Ten years. All right. Well, you're dismissed now. The mission was a success. You three. Uh, but before we go, well, when, I also sent a joint to investigate down. Before we go, um, did you find any green clothing? Yes, but we've assumed that the person who was in that clothing is likely dead. Gara says. Right, they didn't immediately leave. I can't believe it's all my fault, Jubilee says. I'm the reason that man died. If I had just listened to you, Kale, that man might have not died, uh, Jubilee says. It's not your fault, De Dev says. Think, think, think about it, Dev says. But Dink says, a man died protecting what was precious to him. That he didn't die, so he didn't die in vain. We did a good thing here today. Besides, the mission was a success. We saved him. Yes, but I still can't. Believe, I still just can't help that we failed the mission because of me. From now on, Dev, you're the leader. Uh, what do you mean he's the leader? Come on, Kev. I guess you're right. Come on, let's go back home. I'm dying for a nap. I can't wait to finish our video game, and I'm gonna train harder than ever so I can be more useful in the mission. Jubilee said they didn't go back home. Meanwhile, in a hidden sound hideout, they didn't take back the man. Man, man. So you lost Salen? Yes, but our experiment was a success. That form that really does increase chakra at the cost of the physical form. And we even brought a likely test subject. Good. Good. We, we were going to kill him, but we decided to keep him. We may have further use for him. Put him in this dungeon. For, and, and we will continue to plan our advance. And that is the end of the story. Mm -hmm.